friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I've got to update you on what's been going on the last few weeks. So it's it's like the 18th of October, so almost three weeks into the season, and I've barely been out yet with one thing and another. So like two days into the season, we managed to capsize my boat on a trip, and a whole lot of drama went along with that. Then from being in the water so long, and the stress, and no sleeping, I got sick. So I was kind of out for five or six days with that so that wasn't great it wasn't the best start I did manage to get out with JP last week and we explored a couple of new rivers and despite walking a lot of kilometers like we did a, we did some big caves through some beautiful looking water just barely saw any fish we did find this fish all right man let's get him back do a quick shout out to Peter Julian you dropped a really generous donation to help me get loopy back on the water thank you brother I really appreciate that that's gonna go a long way to getting uh, getting the boat back in action also to my buddy Nick you're a legend bro thank you something I've never really thought about doing before is putting my PayPal um, details in the description of the video which I've actually done now since um, Peter asked me to so if you don't want to join my patreon but one week you're feeling generous and you want to do a one-off kind of donation my PayPal address is in the description below. There's also the super thanks option, which is again just below this video. Um, you can just jump on there and donate a little bit uh, if you feel like it. Every little bit helps and everything goes straight back into this channel. Along with everything else, I earn big borrow and steal. Just headed back up to Topol now, and then I'm gonna get out in the morning and try and find some fish to make you guys a video for this week, because I'm well behind. It's Tuesday and I haven't even gone out yet. So if I can get out tomorrow, make a video, I've got a lot of editing to do before Saturday. So hopefully I can get that done on time. All right, I'll catch up with you guys bright and early in the morning and we'll try and find a couple of fish. Morning everybody, it was an early one. I think I was up just after four. I was out of the house probably just after five. And then uh, yeah, a couple of hours later, we we're walking. I was gonna wet wave, but I looked at the temperatures again this morning and we were down to sort of like four degrees over here this morning so I was like nah, not quite ready for that yet. We're here, we've got the time to try to find some fish. Yo. All right, we're here. Actually, it didn't take too long at all. The river's looking low, it's looking good. I'm gonna have a drink and yeah, just slowly get my life in order and set up. I'll run you through what I'm using. And then we'll go try to find a fish. Good stuff, it's nice to be back. Right, so, I'm gonna go with five weights today. I normally fish this river with a six weight, lots of nymphing generally kind of pretty long leaders, heavy rigs, that kind of stuff. But I'm testing out this new rod prototype for Orbis, which is a five weight. I can't really tell you much more about it than that. All right, I've got the Mirage LT size two reel, my favorite burnt orange. And as usual guys, on there is a scientific angler's amplitude infinity camo line, smooth. I will just string this up and I'll take the poly leader off, uh, build a straight through leader, probably around, I don't know, Probably around 15, 16 feet. We'll build this bad boy up. I'm not gonna go into detail in this video about how I do this. You watch these videos, you probably already know how I do it and you've watched the video. But if you haven't, and you wanna know how I build my straight through leader from scratch, I'll link it up here, you can go check it out. All right, that's all gravy. So I'm gonna start with a 101, size 10. And we'll do a size 14. Flashback pheasant tail again, cat three. So, yeah, we've got our. If you can see that, hopefully, it's focusing in. We've got our 101, we've got maybe 12, 18 inches, and then we've got our flashback pheasant tail size 14.
sweet. Pete. Yeah. Fish. All right. That did look good from the get. Oh, really? That's just my luck in here. What? I lost my uh, bottom fly, I think. No, I didn't, just popped. Sunscreen. This is zinc based, but it's uh, it's really good. I really like it. It's from a company called So Dope NZ. I'm gonna try and be a much better human being as far as this stuff goes. From now on, be better people, be better. Definitely on the soft side, I mean, this is real nice, dry droppery. It's gonna be beautiful, just sight fishing with it. Oh, the fish. Oh, wow, man, two for two. Well, after a very suboptimal start on this rod testing, that just happened. It just, uh, I got it caught in these ferns as I was pushing through and the tip just fell off. So that's not good. Sorry, Orvis. <laughs> right, Hope. So <clears throat> a couple of things happened. So one is I am two for two on losing fish. And then on this bush bash coming through here, caught my line on one of those ferns and the rod tip came off. So that's the end of this product testing, but it doesn't like being point loaded. But then again, what rod does? That's right there is why I always carry a spare rod. What I've got here, I've got old Papa Smurf, which is the five weight D. I'm gonna swap her over, re-rig, have a drink, calm down because I got quite angry back there. So I just need to just stop, have a word with myself, maybe have a bite to eat, just chill out. Otherwise I'll end up fishing like an idiot and won't be a good day. So I've regrouped, there's something to eat, something to drink, just chilled out a little bit, all good. I mean, it's not great, it's not ideal, but shit happens, it's pretty sweet. Going over some rocks there, some big boulders on the bottom of that there. That's fish. Oh no, it's coming towards me. Going away from me. Ooh. Man, other side of the river. Not a big fish, but it's a rocket ship. Flapping around over there. A chunky monkey. Oh, all wrapped up. Come on. Man, you're scrappy. Oh, just. Oh, we're on the board with a pretty little fish. Nice. Just a pretty fish, man. I am very happy with you, lady. Awesome. All right. Oh, it wasn't much of a release shot. She got away from me. On the board. It's all good. I can still catch fish. Yeah, so he took the, took the 101 stonefly. I'm pretty happy, pretty happy about that. This is like the third week of the season. I've broken two rods. I've capsized one boat. I nearly drowned me and my buddy. And yeah, I haven't really caught any fish. Hopefully we can just kind of calm down now and just do what we do. All right, let's see if we can find another one out the head. There we go. Dude, man, these fish, oh, that's a better fish. They are on fire. They are just 
rocket ships to the other end of the river. Man. man, out of control. Dude, 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 dude. Come on now. Dude, so strong and intent on going down there. It's an angry fish. Whoa, big eel trying to eat it. Well, not eat it. Big eel trying to take a chunk out of it. Dude, you want to come into this net? Oh, way better off. That's good fish. Awesome fish. All right, buddy, you get out of here. I made that pretty quick because there's a big eel that was trying to eat a chunk out of her while I was fighting her. And yeah, she's still hanging around back here. So I just kind of scooted her off that way. Yeah, cool. That's what we came for. Those kind of fish, just angry, big rainbows. That's awesome. Everything's in a mess. So I'm going to sort that out and then I'll fish the rest of that too um, before I move on up. Uh, looking forward to that sun coming back out, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty cold and uh, glad I went for the waders, for sure. Next piece of water is this beautiful pool here. Um, it's a real tricky drift, it's mainly a big back eddy in front of you and the drift is right over the back by the wall, so it's actually quite a tricky one to do. Ah, uh, that was mega. That was a mega fish. Like, not massive, but just uh, a bunch of attitude and just cool. Stoked about that. Ate the little um, flashback pheasant tail and uh, just a real subtle leap. That indicator just went pop, pop, and that was it. That was enough. Sun's out, it's warming up. Fish are on the board. Good times. After every fish I catch or hook or lose or whatever, I always make a point of just checking my gear. I check my hooks, I check my leader, check my tippet, just, just because, like for example, in that battle there, something happened to my tippet uh, that means it's really worth changing before I fish it again. So if you don't know this already, what you, what you can do is take your thumb and your forefinger and just, just kind of run your tippet and your leader through your thumb and your forefinger there. And you can feel, you can feel, and you can actually see it when you look closely. I don't think you'll be able to see on here at all. Um, but you can just, you can feel and you can see just where it's been kind of roughed up a little bit. Uh, and wherever there's like a rough spot, uh, that's compromised. You know, that's, that's just a weak spot in your, in your system. That's probably where it will break on your next good fish. So get into the habit of checking your gear after every fish. And if, uh, if you're not sure, if it feels a bit compromised in any way or looks a bit kind of rough, uh, just change it. Just don't be lazy, it takes you a couple minutes and uh, job done. Oh yes, ooh that was aggressive, oh that was super aggressive. 
feels wrapped up or really heavy. Don't know. Don't know. No, that's just a good fish. It's a good strong fish, that. Oh yeah, mate. Yeah. Hit that stone fly, I think. Yeah, stone fly, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost. Oh. Oh. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Oh. Yes. Whoo. Yes. Ships. Dude. Just a tank. Oh. Oh. You won't be able to see him on here, but he's down here in the middle. Just sitting in front of a rock. He have been watching him for a few minutes now. He looked a bit skinny, to be honest. Uh, so I'm just going to leave him alone. I'm not even going to fish to him. Oh, he's come a long way left to eat something. Yeah, he's definitely skinny. Just been cool to watch him for a few minutes. And uh, he needs to eat as much food as he can. Put some weight back on, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to get in the way of that. I'll keep going, find another fish.
Oh yes. Right in front of that boulder. Oh my god. So slippy. Good fish. I said that a few times today. Oh no! Uh, uh. Oh. Sweet Alex move, trying to be all arty with the shot. Doesn't matter, I'd rather they swam off like that. Amazing fish, amazing. happy about that that was a real jumpy jumpy rainbow real jumpy yeah just down there in that deep stuff at the head there should go back and get my rod I might do like one more piece of water actually I might have something to eat that's what I'll do I'll have something to eat I did not get that release shot at all. It doesn't matter. You saw the fish, he was beautiful. Uh, good stuff. I'm gonna fish up the rest of that. I'm gonna take this jacket off. Maybe push up one more, two more pieces of water. I don't know, then I'll get out of here. Been a great day, it's been awesome. And uh, it's just nice to be out. Stonefly again, by the way. Yo, okay, so I missed a brown, but I shouldn't have caught it anyway because I didn't even know it was there and I should have seen it um, 
And that's about it. This pool behind me right here, I couldn't get anything out of. A bit of a crappy drift, to be honest. But, um, yeah, it's 3 o'clock. I've got about, oh, just over an hour, hour and 15 back to the truck. And then, like, two hours to drive home. So it's going to be 6, 6.30 by the time I get in. Now, I'm not going to sign off now because when I get back, I'm going to do the draw for the Orvis Encounter combo that I fished last week. Uh, so I'm going to pick a winner for those of you that entered that and um, find out who I'm going to send that to. So I'll catch up with you back there. But uh, all in all, great to be out in the back country again. I'm sure you'll agree it was a less than ideal start. It was a bit of a disaster, to be honest. Breaking that rod and just losing fish and all that stuff. So that was dumb. Um, but yeah, definitely rusty. Definitely rusty on the backcountry skills. But you get that after a winter, you know, just, you just have it's their perishable skills, you know. You use them or you lose them. But it is good to be out. Glad I caught some great fish. And uh, yeah, all in all, good times. I'm going to get my butt in gear and get back home. And I'll catch up with you guys there. What's up? All right, it is time. It is time to do this raffle draw prize thing for the encounter combo I fished last week. I've just gone to a, a commentpicker.com and we're just gonna click the button and it will do a random winner pick, I suppose. So just so you can see I'm being legit, I'll film the screen as I do it so you don't think I'm a cheater. Right, here we go. Boom. Daryl Williams. Nice one, Daryl. That's, uh, that's all yours, mate. So I'll get you to just DM me um, either on uh, Facebook Messenger or Instagram and let me know your details and I'll get that off to you in the post next week, mate. Nice work. I hope you enjoy it. It's Saturday morning and I'm supposed to post this video in about three minutes, which is not going to happen. I just need to finish the edit and get it out there and then you guys can sit down and watch it. All right. Give me a thumbs up, everybody. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. It helps the algorithm. It does. It helps push things along, which is awesome. And it's always good to read your comments and hear from you. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.